Hey, Glenn, what you doing? Taking pictures. You taking pictures? Yeah. Okay. Silly dinner. Oh no. What are you putting in there, Jacob? Uh sandy pizza. Ew. Ew. Broccoli underwear. <laughs> <laughs> It's yes. lemon flavored underwear. Lemon flavored underwear. <laughs> lemon underwear. Walk backwards. Underwear. Watch out for the wall. Watch out for the walls all. Here it go. Watch out for the wall. Watch out for the wall. I'm almost ready to the wall. She still made it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Today is my first day as the lead pastor at New Beginnings Christian Church. I'm so excited. I'm on my way there right now. Hopefully, I can get everything done and really start to incorporate the vision and the ideas that God has given me for uh, New Beginnings. Tonight we're going to be talking about um, Share Your Story is what I've entitled it. So I'm going to give a little bit of um, verses talking about like setting up monuments and putting, putting things in place so that you can remember the past but look to the future just like Jacob did when he was um, in Bethel and he fell asleep and saw the ladder going up and down from heaven and he set up a pillar there, a monument to help him remember and to make a statement of what God has done. So we want to talk about what God has done in people's lives last year and before that. To start talking about that, to start looking at what God has done and what he is going to do through each and every one of us through New Beginnings in the, the town of Greenville. See you there. I just finished preparing for this coming Sunday. This first week, I wanted to encourage you, what we're speaking about tonight is share your story. If you have a story and you'd love to share it, I would love to hear it. You can comment your story below because everybody has a great story, a way that they can explain how they came to Christ and how Christ has impacted their life. On Sunday, I'm going to be speaking about running your race. What it means to each and every one of us is something that God has put in our hearts. So I wanted to encourage you that whatever God is placing on your heart to do, go after it. Don't wait for tomorrow, but start moving in that direction. Start preparing, start planning for what God is about to do because he is going to do something great. In this new year, as we start 2019, be a person who is intentional in their desire to move towards what God has them to do. You be the light.